Hi guys, it's Phil from Teach Blend, and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can upload audio and video feedback to students' assignments. We'll also have a look at how we can upload PDFs, PowerPoints and extra resources to that assignment as well, which is perfect if, for example, you're uploading a mark scheme. This is also really useful if the students emailed you the work and you need to upload it on their behalf. I hope you find this video useful. So you'll see here I'm in Microsoft Teams, I'm just going to click a class and I'm going to look at one of the assignments I previously set. Here you can see it. I'm just going to click view assignment here and you'll see the students that have either handed it in or not handed it in. Let's have a look at a student that has turned in the assignment. So I click the turned in and as you can see I can see the assignment as usual. And I can enter in regular feedback, I can even comment on the document and put comments into that document. But what if I want to take this a bit further? So now I have some more features. I can use the camera just underneath the feedback box to actually provide verbal and video based feedback. So here you can see I've actually loaded that up. It uses my webcam and what I can do is actually you can record some feedback. I can choose which webcams and which microphones I want to use as well. So I just hit the record button, enter in the verbal feedback and the video based feedback. I can pause and stop this once done. I can review this and what I can do is actually trim this as well. So let's say there's a little bit that you don't need. You can trim this and once you're happy with the outcome, you can then publish that to your students. You'll just need to name your feedback. So a good example here would be to put feedback in the initials of the student on what resource it was about or what piece of work and then just click upload. There is a few other options that we're going to have a look at as well. So we'll just wait for that to upload by clicking next and you'll see as well that there's a few options underneath as well. But with record, here's a top tip. What you can do if you just want to do audio only is cover your camera and then press the record button. Now I do hope in future you'll be able to select this in the options and turn the camera video off but for now you can still do it. You can also attach files as well. So that means if, for example, you've got an extra document that you want to give feedback for, or it could be that the students have not uploaded the work, it could be that you have a writing frame, it could be that you've got some materials, or just a long feedback form that you need to give them with a spec, for example. So you can browse your documents either via Teams or via OneDrive and attach documents and PDFs as well. So this is perfect for uploading specs, extra documentation about that exam. You can also click the plus and create Word documents and PowerPoints directly inside of Teams for that feedback as well. So let's say the feedback box was too big, uh, too small, sorry, or for example, the comments were coming on and you just wanted to create a more in-depth document, you can create that Word document, give the feedback in that document, and then the students will also have that document alongside your regular marking as well. So here you'll see them all attached as the assignment. Again, just click on this and there's other options as well. And you've got your OneDrive, your link, and everything's accessed here. So it could be you've got a link to a website. Again, really useful to upload. If the student has also not uploaded their assignment and has emailed it for you, you can click this, upload to the assignment as well on their behalf. Once you click return, all of that feedback will go back to that student and they'll be able to view that and it'll be attached as the assignment. So let's have a look at what it looks like for a student. You'll see here the student's got the feedback and the example assignment and they can click this and view the comments uh, as usual, but they'll also have extra options as well. So on the right hand side here, you can see the video that I've uploaded, giving them verbal or video based feedback for the assessment, as well as the Word documents as well. Students can play this, they can look at this at any time to help them with their assignment. Again, this could be really useful, especially in practical subjects, you might have demonstrated that example. They're also able to download like the PDFs or any attachments and the Word documents that you've created inside of Teams. So just remember to click the plus. Again, this is useful for students who have done the feedback and want that verbal and audio feedback, but also for uploading students who might have missed the assignment and emailed it. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend.